Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Kenny's Movie Palace for box number 17. So this is all from my personal collection, and I'll tell you guys where I get my, uh, where I bought these from. So first woman is The Lodge. I believe I bought this from Groove. This movie was scary. Very good flick. Next one. Dollar Tree special. Look at this cover. Who wouldn't want to buy this cover? The movie probably sucks, but it was a uh, cool cover. Uh, next one was from Salvation Army. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hex. I'm sorry. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hex. Uh, this was a really good movie. I really like uh, Josh Brolin in this role. Uh, next one, this was the one I was trying to talk to you guys about before. I thought it was the, the one with Denzel. There's me and Denzel. Safe House with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Ultraman from Dollar Tree. I loved Ultraman growing up, so this was really fun. Next one up, Death House. Look at this cast in this. It has uh, Dane Cotter, Bill Mosley, D. Wallace, Sid Haig, and Adrian Barbeau. And it also has uh, Barbara Crampton, who I was in love with uh, in high school when she was on Guiding Light. I used to watch that with my grandma when I came home from school. All right. Next one, also Dollar Tree. Night Shift. Watch this on Tubi. Good, good movie. Uh, this next one. Maximum Impact, okay? See right here, Danny Trejo. He's in it for two, three minutes, okay? It was it was good, good action movie, but whenever you see his name on there, don't please avoid, you know, because he's only in these movies for like three minutes. A Dollar Tree, Montai Warrior. Another Dollar Tree. I've seen a lot of people... Uh, keeping uh, getting this the odds so what are the odds of me keeping this <laughs> Let's see what I did there uh, this was a good movie I watched this on Tubi Moontrap and then Larry and Melissa picked this one up I like that one Paper Towns also from Dollar Tree this was a good, uh, good movie I like this one uh Mongrel, Dollar Tree, have no idea. Um, I enjoyed this one a lot. Beyond Skyline with Frank Grillo. Good space action movie. Um, I seen this on, I think it was Tubi. It was um, called The Hornet's Nest. And, and they say, if you like Black, uh, Black Hawk Down... Active Valor and Lone Survivor. This is the movie for you. Alright. Next one up. Everybody was picking this one up. Dollar Tree. Balco Experiment. Next one up. The Call. This one was uh, Dollar Tree Special. And I had no idea. I uh, This kind of reminded me sort of like um, New Girl. And it has Zach Efron, Miles Teller, and it has the kid from Creed in it. Uh, this was a really good, uh, like, best friend comedy. These three are best friends, and they hook up with these two girls, or trying to hook up with these two girls. But this is a pretty good uh, rom-com. Um, got this from a Hamilton book, Beowulf. Um, I got this because it was directed by uh, Robert Zemeckis. Um, and it has a ton of special, look at all the special features on there. So I have yet to watch this. Uh, got this from Hamilton Book. I like my monster movies. Godzilla, King Kong, can't go wrong there. And it's a steel book. I think this was only like $4.95 or something. I haven't even opened it yet. Because I think I own uh, the DVD version of it. And I was like, well, well, why bother? I'll just, you know. Uh, also Hamilton book, Contraband Savages and Sabotage. I hate Marky Mark, but I got it for, uh, 
I basically got it for the Arnold movie, Sa uh, Sabotage. Um, now, this is also from Hamilton Book. I love this series. I binged this whole series. There's 12 episodes of this. It was on Netflix. It's called Wallander. Really, really good movie. Uh, there, it's a, it's TV shows. These are there's three um, episodes on this. There's four seasons. If you can find these in the wild, pick them up because they're so expensive, so expensive. So I think I got this one for four ninety five on Hamilton Book. So I'm on the search for the other ones. This was also Hamilton Book, The Shallows with Blake Lively. Really like this movie. Good flick. Uh, I got th this was from Dollar Tree. I only got this because Rooney Mara Re Rooney Mara is in it. I really like her, so I have no idea what the hell this movie is about. Um, got this on Hamilton Book. Nocturnal Animals. See, watched it on Tubi. It was so good, and of course I got it because of my affection for Amy Adams. Building up my Amy Adams collection. Um, next one is a childhood favorite, Excalibur, from 1982. I just seen, uh, yesterday, Paul Jeffrey, uh, passed away. So, rest in peace. This movie is a really good movie. Appaloosa, good cowboy movie. With Viggo, Morten, uh, Viggo Mortensen, Ed Harris, Jeremy Irons, and, uh, Renell Zellweger. But... This is really good. If you can find this anywhere to pick up, I really, it's a good watch. Really good watch. All right. Next up, from also from Dollar Tree, I'm a wrestling fan. The Price of Fame, with The Million Dollar Man. Haven't seen this one yet. Dino Croc. Haven't seen this one yet. Pulse. These are all from Dollar Tree. Um, anything that says Vikings or swashbuckler stuff, I'll buy. Dollar Tree, Viking Blood. A lot of these movies, though, are usually, I last like about 15 minutes on them. Because they're all in, like, Russian. And they're, like, r really badly dubbed. Uh, this was also a uh, Dollar Tree Spaghetti Western. Um, I watched this on Tubi, and man, I really enjoyed this one. Dead Mine. And they had it at uh, Dollar Tree. So I picked that one up. Um, I love my shark movies. This is the uh, me uh, eight, 8 mega uh, movies. It has Toxic Shark, Shark in Venice, Malibu Shark Attack, Shark Man, Shark Zone, Shark Attack 1, 2, and 3. The one that you'll notice from it, it says Shark Attack 3. Megalon, that's the one that you always seen like at Walmart with uh, Michael Matson. So the first the first two Shark Attack movies with Casper Van Dien, I really I really thought they were really good. Alright. Next up, Distort It with John Cusack. Got this from the Dollar Tree. John Cusack makes a lot of bad choices with his movies, but that one was actually pretty good. I watched this on Tubi, Eden Vlog. I really enjoyed this. I thought I just picked it up at Dollar Tree. I really wanted to keep this one. I thought this was a really good flick. Um, I've seen a lot of people picking this up at like the Dollar Trees, and I haven't watched it yet. Compliance. I have no idea. It it might suck, but. Another one, Rites of Passage. Have no idea. Another one, Big Bad Wolves. Have no idea. Um, this one uh, was from uh, Dollar Tree. Also has Code of Silence, Lone Wolf, McCade, Missing in Action, and Delta Force. Any kind, Anything with Chuck Norris in, I will watch and I will buy. So that one was uh, a good one. And I'm an NFL fan. So this is uh, the like highlights from the 2009 uh, season. Extreme NFL. Haven't popped that yet. So. All right. Another Danny Trejo one. 
He's in this for a total of like three or four minutes. I've I don't know whether to support him or not because he's only in these movies for a couple minutes. The next one up, Banished. I have no idea. I've never watched it before. This movie me and my mom watched on Tubi and we left our asses off. Drunk, uh, drunk parents with Selma Hayek and Alec Baldwin. This guy's is so funny. I believe it's still on Tubi, but if you can find a, uh, um, find a copy of this, really good flick. Really recommend that one. The Coat of Cain. I have no idea. I might last about 10 minutes with that one. Same with this one, Jurassic Predator. I mean, look at the cover on it. It just makes you want to buy them. This movie was terrible. <laughs> and then I had, uh, I forgot I had bought this Bride of Scarecrow. <laughs> um, not the uh, Barry Manilow version, but this is Mandy, the Haunted Doll. This also might stink, but I figured it was only a dollar. And this movie was uh, one of my favorite uh, Dollar Tree movies. Um, Sinkhole. I thought this, when I got it, I thought this was from the great people at um, Asylum. But it was an uh, ITN movie. Man, this movie's so much fun. It's just like, this is one where you're like, uh, just have nothing to do on a Saturday and you just want to watch a stupid movie. That's a stupid movie that that's like, after you get done watching it, you're like, oh. That's really good, you know? A couple other ones. Alo, Alo, Alo. I have no idea why I picked that up. Tell me how I die. I seen people picking this up and just saying how good it was. I watched it. It was terrible. I have no idea why I picked this one up. Freedy. I have no idea. It looks awful. I won't be keeping that. That'll be going to the Salvation Army. Next one. First, uh, we take Brooklyn. Watch this on Tubi. has Harvey Keitel in it. Really good. Really good surprising movie. I think you guys will like that. If you Check it out on Tubi before you go searching your Dollar Trees. Because I know it's on... I, I believe it's on Tubi still. But really recommend that one. Uh, next one's Caster Va Casper Van Dien. He's like one of my favorite B actors. Fire Twister. Really fun. Really fun movie. Recommend that one. Now this one I got from um, um, Walmart for five bucks. Hatfield and, and the McCoys. I watched the miniseries of this. I liked it. I had to get it. It was only in the five dollar bin. Uh, the next one is from Dollar Tree. Whipped with Amanda Pete. I love Amanda Pete. I find her sexy as hell. And um, I'll watch anything with her. And, and I did see that. I did see that. I believe I went to the movies to actually see that one. That and Saving... I think it came out at the same time as Saving Silverman. Another funny movie. Um... 20 bad movies that are, if you can find one on here, it was worth the dollar. Uh, put, point all them out. I have no idea. There's some titles on here. The first, what is it? This Thing of Guns, Hot Ice, Fast Track. So these are basically all ripoffs of like Fast and the Furious. I have no idea why I bought that one either. Uh, next one, Territory 8 with people I don't know. The cover looked interesting now this one um this one was an awesome find officer down loved this movie thought this movie was so much fun really really fun if you can find that um if you can still find it i highly recommend picking it up and then ouija house i don't know why i picked that one up all right all right. Okay, the next couple. I'll give you a, a short little... It's story time with Kenny, baby. Um, went to Walmart, and you know those big dump-ins are like $5. In ours, uh, in South in South Jersey, we had... They had 
um, one that was supposed to say 249, then 549, and then like 750. Okay. Well, on this occasion, the all the dump bins said a dollar fifty. So me and my buddy Terry, we go and we'll, we'll like search and you know, well, all the bins. So I don't know if one of the workers changed it or somebody else, but all the bins had a dollar fifty. Well, Kenny went crazy that day. So I took them all up and there and the person's like, oh, well, sir, this is scanning up for seven dollars or this is scanning up for. And I'm like, yeah, you have to honor it because it says on the on the bid. So they actually they had like their district manager there and then their area manager. And then they had which I think was funny. They had their security people check it to make sure that me and my buddy didn't change change it on there so they watched us the whole 45 minutes we were there going through all these bins and they're like yeah it said dollar 50 we gotta honor it so this is just a couple of them uh, they're probably in different boxes but uh yeah i got this these all for a dollar 50 and these were like when these first came out these were like really expensive uh a score to settle with nick cage it comes by night. Hereditary. Between two worlds. I know this one was expensive because this is one of those shout factory shout shout select titles. Someone to watch over me. Dollar fifty. Escape Plan 3. I got this one, uh, well, two reasons. Batista and Stallone. But I, I actually got this one. I like, I'm a wrestling fan. I love Batista as an actor more over than uh, his uh, wrestling career. Um, no Way Back. Okay, that that's all from the... Um, the Walmart uh, $1.50 ones. Uh, we're back to dollar store ones. Uh, false flag. It looked interesting. Cracked. I know this was a, a series on BBC. Um, I believe this is the first season. I want to say this is the first season of it. it was either BBC or one of the um, streaming services. I, I don't really remember. All right. Oh, we're back to Walmart again. The dollar fifty ones. Primal. Hunter Killer, and this is what it at it first just came out too. Split. Okay, we're back to Dollar Tree. Psychopaths. Red Summer. Okay, we're at Walmart. We're back at Walmart again. I got this one for $1.50. Click. 51st States, Big Daddy, and Mr. Deeds. They were all in those bins. So it was like, uh, this was another one uh, from the uh, those bins. Bad Moms. Um, this is Dollar Tree. No Good Deed. Dollar Tree Sniper, Ultimate Kill. Uh, this is the uh, one of the Dollar Tree ones. It has uh, four, four uh, Legends of the West, American Empire, The Marshal of Madrid, The Hand Man, and Sam Cave. Uh, this was also from Dollar Tree. 70 Classic Westerns. Um, this one was a good find, um, if I can stick into, all right, it's the Detective D, um, 
Young Detective, Detective D. This is a Dollar Tree. And then uh, this movie was uh, pretty good. I didn't know any of the actors in it. It just kind of looked interesting. Domain. I watched this on Tubi and then I just picked it up at Dollar Tree. I thought I thought it was actually a pretty good flick. All right. Another Dollar Tree one. 30 Days in New York. A Place at the Table. Edward Lovecraft. What the hell is this? And the Undersea Kingdom. Dollar Tree. Uh, Memories of the Sword. Adventures of a Chocolate Factory. Gate of the Ghost. Help. What was it? Help, I Shrunk My Teacher. The Pirates of Somalia. All right. I Melt With You. Kiss of the Damned. These are all Dollar Tree ones. Legion of Brothers. And the last couple from this box. Near Extinction. You know that's a Dollar Tree, but check out that. Look at that cover. That cover is awesome. Movie probably smells, but here's another one. Look at the cover on this one. Night Zero. These will all probably not be making my list. This one actually uh, did make my list. Uh, this, my shelf. Storage 24. Good flick. Good movie. I, could, I couldn't find this on uh, Blu-ray, but I got it on DVD. I'm happy with that. Um, Pink Panther favorites. Uh, there's about like 40 cartoons on here. I liked uh, Pink Panther when I was a little kid. <sighs> this movie called Jonathan. It looked pretty interesting in the trailer. I think everybody picked this one up. High Voltage. And the last one has uh, Daniel Radcliffe, My Boy Jack. It's a BBC movie. I have no idea, so... All right, guys, that's it for that box. What did you think? Any good ones? Uh, a lot of Dollar Tree ones uh, in this one. So, uh, yeah. All right. Tell me what you thought. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be back again uh, shortly with another box. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.